I'm Ian Libby, and welcome to Trivial Pursuit, a new game show with a bit of a twist. Before we go any further though, I want to introduce you to our contestants today. First up, let's meet number one. Hi, my name's Roger, I'm 33 and I'm a PE teacher from Croydon. Thanks Roger, now let's meet number two. Hi, my name's Jen, I'm 23 and I'm a receptionist from Essex. Thanks Jen, let's meet number three. Hi, I'm Barry, I'm 31, I'm a fireman from the Midlands. Thanks Barry. And now our last contestant, contestant number four. Hi, my name's Daphne, I'm 36 and I'm a recruitment consultant from Harrow. Thank you all for coming in today. We'll be talking to you a bit more later on. Before we go any further, I think I just need to explain the rules of Trivial Pursuit. Now the game, as you might have guessed from the title, is loosely based around hair. <laughs> Questions will be asked that are either directly or indirectly concerning hair. We'll have a series of four rounds. Our first round is a non-elimination round. After that, we'll be losing a person every round until we get a winner. Now, how do we decide who the winner is? Simple. What we'll be doing is that every time somebody gets a question right, they add more hair to their avatar on their right hand side. If you just have a look. The person at the end of round two that has the least amount of hair on their avatar will be eliminated. And then so on until we get to the final round, which is our head to head. Let's get on with round one. Called Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow. Each question is going to be referring to a celebrity that is famously born. Question one, Roger, is for you. Which actor played a character with the famous catchphrase, Who Loves You, Baby? Uh, Bob Hoskins? Ah, uh, no, actually, the answer was Telly Savalis when he played Kojak. Question two is for Jen. Jen, which former FHM model and presenter of Fully Booked famously suffers from alopecia areata? Oh, sorry, and I don't know the answers to that one. I don't read it, Well, Jamie, well, to not respect your youth, it was actually Gail Porter. Question three, this one goes to Barry. Barry, which English Shakespearean actor has captained the Starship Enterprise? Okay, I think I know that one. It's Patrick Stewart. That's very good, Barry. Well done. Please take a piece of hair on your avatar. Question four. This one's for you, Daphne. Which actress shaved her head for the role in the film G.I. Jane? Oh, I think I know this Ian. Isn't it Demi Moore? Well done, Daphne. It was indeed Demi Moore. Please put this in your hand. Question five. Roger. Mr. Toad, Andy Pimkin, George Dawes, and Vicky Pollard are all characters played by which actor? Okay, yeah, I know this one. It's uh, Matt Lucas. Well done, Roger. That's around this round. It was indeed Matt Lucas. Please put a piece of hair on your avatar. <laughs> Question six. This goes to Jen. Jen, which Titanic actor played the lead role in the film? The Phantom. Oh, is it Leonardo DiCaprio? Jen, I'm sorry, you're not having a very good round so far. I can see why you said Leonardo DiCaprio being in Titanic it was in fact Billy Zane. Question seven. This one goes to Barry. Barry, which diehard actor started his career moonlighting? Oh, that's an easy one, that's Bruce Willis. Barry, you were storming it on this round. It was indeed. Bruce Willis, please put another piece of hair on that side. So question eight is to Daphne. Daphne, which singer shaved her head in a salon in Tarzana, California during a breakdown? Oh, I do this one um, here, isn't it? Sinead O'Connor. Daphne, I see why you might have said that, but you have got a little confused. The answer was, of course, Britney Spears. Back to Roger for question nine. Roger, which Highlander knight has been in the Majesty's Secret Service and sent love from Russia? Oh, well, I'm a big James Bond fan, so that's got to be Sean Connery. Roger, so much better. You're getting on form now, mate. It was indeed Sean Connery. Please put a piece of hair in your Question nine. Roger, 
So question 10, and that was for Jen. Jen, which festive sounding actor played the King of Siam? Noel Fielding? Oh, Jen, Jen, you're not having a good round this one. It was in fact Yul Brynner from The King and I. So question 11, this was going to Barry. Barry, which controversial Irish singer thought that nothing compared to you? Well, I think I know that one. It's what Daphne said, it's Sinead O'Connor. Nice to see you picked up on that one there, Barry. It was indeed Sinead O'Connor. I thought you were going to say Britney Spears for a second. Right, put a piece of hair on it. Oh. And the last question of this round is question 12, going to Daphne. Which singer had hits with Shiny Happy People and Man on the Moon? No, I didn't. <laughs> No, the answer. Daphne, I think you might need to go and seek some medical attention. It was, in fact, Michael Stein. That brings us to the end of round one. Let's have a look at the scores. We've got Roger on two. Jen, unfortunately, yet to score, so she's on zero. We've got Barry there on three. And last of all, we've got Daphne on one. Okay, so that's the end of round one. Let's go have a chat with a couple of our contestants and see how they thought it went. So first off, let's talk to Jen. Jen, not a good round to you, was it, love? I know, but when you see it on telly, it looks so easy, and you're like, I know that one, but I just couldn't ask. Though, Jen, I have to say, I don't think any girl wants to leave the day hairy, do they? This is very true. So I think you've done well for a girl. Oh, thanks. But whereas we've got somebody hitting puberty at full pelt here, Barry. Thanks so much, Jen. Very good round, the perfect score for the first round. Are you feeling confident for the rest of the game? Yeah, very confident, yeah. It's Spotting up. I haven't actually told them what the questions are, just so you know. Okay, let's get on with round two.